So short beards versus medium length beards. What are the main differences? What are the main things that you need to consider uh, if you're trying to choose which shape to go for? Now, I like all of them. I've had medium length beards. I'm going to say this is a medium length beard for me. I've had it shorter. Uh, I like all of them, but they do come with a little bit different considerations when it comes to trimming and what your styling options and your shaping options are. So we're going to be talking about that today. Welcome, guys. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And what is the official definition of a short beard versus medium? I don't really know if there is one, but for this video, I'm going to say a medium length beard is one where you can't just use the clippers all over your beard, right? So it gets down further than what your clipper guard will go. So there you have to start freehanding it. All right. So I've had my beard uh, both ways. So right now I would have what's considered a medium length beard. And then here is a picture of me with a short beard as well. So you can kind of compare and contrast. So the main difference with them besides, you know, the, the, the length, obviously, is with a shorter beard, you really uh, pretty much stuck to having a, a beard shape that's the same shape as your face, right? So uh, if you've got a weaker chin or, uh, a, you know, you don't have that chiseled jawline, there's a little bit of work you can do with a, a shorter beard if it's on the longer side of short, if you will. Um, other than that, you're kind of pretty much stuck with the shape of your face. Your beard's going to be that just extended out by just, you know, a few uh, a couple centimeters at the most. When your beard becomes a medium shape, a medium length, you start to have a lot of different styling and shaping options, right? So you could, uh, you know, have a, a rounder look. You could have a more squared off look with as far as the, uh, the bottom line on that. You could have things flat. You can have it round. And that really creates a lot, uh, you know, really creates a palette for you to be able to shape your beard and to try actually different things. If you don't like one thing, you can try something else uh, on it. And also with that longer length, it's going to uh, offset some, uh, some things that might not be as desirable, uh, like maybe you've got a weaker chin or the slope on your neck. Uh, maybe you're a little bit older like myself, you're starting to get wrinkles down there. So uh, it's also easier because you don't have to maintain as much of a, a neckline as you will, but it can kind of cover up some uh, some things that maybe you want to cover up and when you start having that medium shape or as a short beard. Really, it's just pretty much the same length as what your face is, so can't really cover up a whole lot of stuff. Um, as your beard gets longer and longer, that'll make your face look a little bit thinner as well, if that's something that you uh, want to take into consideration. Also, with that longer uh, beard length, I think it gives you more mustache options too. So if you wanted to try a separate mustache like I've got, you can. Now you can do that with a shorter uh, beard too, but th to me that becomes more of a hybrid type of style when you got a really short beard and a, you try some kind of big uh, handlebar mustache, that's more of like a beard stash look, if you will. So on the other end of that, if you have a really short beard, depends on how short you go, if you have patches, those aren't going to be able to be covered up as much as, as, as you can when you have a longer style beard. Now, it depends on uh, the density that your beard grows, on how well you can cover up those patches. And if you, your beard's really patchy, then the short look, kind of the stubble look, may be the best option for you. Uh, but in general, if your beard's a little bit longer, you're going to be able to cover up some of those. I've got patches uh, on my beard as well. I'm not going to take the time to show them to you right now, but I, I, I do. My underbeard's really weak, but I've got pretty good uh, uh, density and growth here on my cheek, so it kind of covers that up. So in general, if you've got uh, stronger areas above patches, you're going to be able to cover those up to some extent where you can't do that if you have your beard that's really short. Uh, which one's easier to style? That's going to go towards the short beard. Right, it's going to be easier to style. You don't have to worry quite as much about uh, taming the flyaways or using heat on it, or uh, you know having to comb and train your beard as much as you do to that medium length style, which is a little bit harder to keep uh, everything in in uh, in check the way you want it. More than likely, on the other hand, uh, your shorter beards are you going to need to trim them more often. <clears throat> so usually, probably I would say one to two weeks on a short beard, you're going to have to do something to it at least on the mustache area. Whereas on a medium length beard, you can go three to four weeks or pretty much in between haircuts. 
So you can just trim your beard every time you get a haircut. Whereas on a short beard, in my opinion, to keep it nice and crisp, you're going to have to do that at least twice as often, depending on the, you know, the, um, how fast your beard grows. Also the type of trimming becomes very important, right? So if it's a shorter beard, you can stick to using the trimmer and the guards. Now you still have to be careful, even though the longest guard, if you go up on it, you're going to end up having a beard that's about the length of uh, the width of your finger is going to get really short. I did a video on that. Please go back and watch that. Uh, so you make sure you're not going to go the wrong direction. Even with a short beard, uh, you still want to, to, to really take into consideration how you trim it. And you're still wanting some areas that are shorter or longer than others, even if you're keeping a relatively short beard. <clears throat> Whereas when you've got a medium length beard, you're down here having to freehand this bottom line. And that's not something some guys want to deal with. So they go to a barber or they just stick to a shorter length that where they've got a guard to, to kind of go by and to establish that bottom line for you. Uh, also with a, a medium length beard, you start getting into longer beards, the health of your beard, your diet, your supplements, your water intake is gonna be something that becomes more and more important because you're trying to keep those hairs uh, healthy and as vibrant as long as you can because they're gonna need to get you know two or three inches long uh, in that case, that's going to be, you know, up to four, four or five months of uh, growth on those hairs before they're going to be falling out and going through the natural uh, life cycle of a hair. So th those are some of the things that I kind of consider as we kind of compare and contrast short beards versus medium beards. Have you tried both? Which one suits you better? For me, I actually like both styles on me. I really like the medium length beard with the separate mustache. I've kept that probably the longest over the past four or five years but also really like the shorter length because of ease of uh, ease of use, if you will, right? It's not quite as much of an ordeal, especially when we went through having to wear masks more often uh, through the pandemic. So uh, that was something that I really enjoyed having a shorter beard and a shorter mustache, not having to worry about some of that. In fact, the summertime, I think I'll be doing another uh, beard trim and going back to the shorter look here over the next couple of weeks and so make sure you stay tuned for that. Also stay tuned. We are giving away uh, a set of these Brio Beardscape version two trimmers whenever we hit 2000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that and check out the video where you uh, leave a comment to make sure you're entered into that giveaway. So as always guys, I appreciate you watching. We'll be seeing you soon. Maybe for that beard trim.